We are playing switching 1v1, opponent from the front. The yellows have to go through one of the two white gates. The reds have to try to catch the yellows. That means if I run here, then he has to catch me. Touching is also enough to catch the opponent. If I am caught, then the red team has done his job, and the task change. Then the next red will be the striker who runs into the field. He has to try to get through the red gates. Yellow has to catch him before that. But if I can get through the white gate without being caught, then my team stays offensive, and the next person from my team is also a striker. And the rare ones has to catch. Now we play the same thing, but now only with balls on our feet. The task for the striker, dribble through one of the two gates on the other side with the ball on your foot. Your job as the red is to get the ball. If the ball is out or he has ball possession, then the task is over and you have won. Then the next red dribbles into the field with the ball on his foot. The next yellow becomes a defender and leaves his ball. He then has the task of recovering the ball. If I see that I'm the next striker, where should I run to? Should I run to the middle or to the side? Middle. Side. Middle? Side? Yes. Side. To the side. Why is it better if I run here than if I run straight at the opponent? You can run better to the two cones. Yes. If you run towards the opponent, he can easily catch you. Very good. That's exactly it. If I run straight towards the opponent, I'll only have pressure from him and I'll still be far away from the goal. That's why the task is to start running directly towards the goal and force the opponent to move. This will force him to run to the side. If he stops in the middle, what should I do? Do I change directions or do I stay in a fast tempo? If he closes the path to the gate, then I change direction. Yes, that's right. If he's too far away, I'll stay in a fast pace and run through. Come closer. If I see that he's speculating on goal, then I've got to change my direction to the other side. Therefore, first run in the direction of the goal and then watch the opponent. Stop, don't click off just yet. Stay tuned for a moment because you and your club can use our practice videos to plan your training. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a first-time coach, get access to over 200 exercises of the best drills and games that fit your training and the needs of your players. The videos feature exercises from pro clubs such as PSV Eindhoven, Fallby Stuttgart, and Fall at Wolfsburg, ensuring that coaches have access to the latest and most effective training methods. The ready-to-use, child-centered, age-appropriate, fun training session, and weekly plans allow coaches to plan better training in less time. Go to www.play.advance.football link will be in the description why play advanced football well we really want to help youth soccer at any and every level we want to get closer to our vision better soccer training for every child if you found this video helpful please like this video and leave a comment this way you help us with just a few clicks and more coaches and clubs will be made aware of of our platform thank you also don't forget to subscribe to our channel down here